Our good follower of the channel, Ryan Thompson Thompson, brought this uh, great athlete up in conversation in our comment section uh, recently. So this is for you, RTD. Uh, Jimmy Ryan, probably the, the only superstar of his time to be named Pony. He was an American center fielder in MLB who played between 1885 and 1903, primarily for Chicago White Stockings, Colts, and Orphans. He batted 311 times, retiring with a career average of 308, and was the seventh player to hit 100 career home runs. Ryan set major league records for career games, 1945, and assists, 375, as an outfielder that were later broken by Jesse Burkett and Tris Speaker, respectively. He also ended his career ranking second in putouts with 3701 and fourth in double plays with 71. A native of Clinton, Massachusetts, he started his major league career with Chicago with the NL in 1885. He played for them until 1900, except for the 1890 season when he played for the Chicago Pirates of the Players League. He had his best season in 1888, leading the NL in hits, 182, doubles, 33, home runs, 16, <coughs> total base to 283, and slugging percentage, 515. He was also second in batting average, 332, extra base hits with 59, and runs scored with 115. During that campaign, Ryan hit for the cycle on July 28. He also appeared in that game as a pitcher, becoming the first player in Major League history to hit for the cycle and pitch in the same game. The White Stockings bet the Detroit Wolverines, 21-17. Ryan, of course, his major injury in almost any career occurred on August 6, 1893, when the Chicago team was involved in a train wreck at Lindsay, Ohio. When their sleeper cars derailed and crashed into a freight train, it was stopped in a siding, resulting in three deaths. Ryan's legs were shattered, and for weeks, there were doubts that he would even be able to walk again, let alone play again, resulting in a $10,000 settlement from the Lakeshore and Michigan Southern Railway. As late as the following January, it was still considered unlikely that he would be able to resume his career, but he returned to post a post uh, a career high 357 batting average. Almost exactly one year after the wreck, on August 5th, 1894, Ryan and his teammate uh, Walt Wilmot were credited with saving hundreds of lives when a fire broke out in the stands at Westside Park. The two players used bats to break down the barbed wire fencing, allowing the fans to escape onto the field. Now, in 1900, Ryan broke Tom Brown's career record of 340 assists by an outfielder. Tris Breaker broke the record in 1924. Now, Ryan ended his major league career with the Senators of Yale in 1902-03. He was a career trio eight hitter with 118 home runs, 1,093 runs batted in, and 20... Uh, 14 games with 2,513 hits. As a pitcher, he was 6-1 and one with a 3.62 ERA and 43 strikeouts in 117 innings. On the tough side, Ryan was one of the few players to ever punch a reporter at least twice. After his first episode in 1887, Charlie Seymour said of the rough and double player uh, who wrote for Chicago Herald, uh, Ryan slugged a magnificent Chicago reporter in Pittsburgh the other day. In the other, in 1892, he took exception to George Beachel of Chicago Daily News. In a clubhouse after a game, Ryan picked a quarrel with Beachel and then attacked him, using him up pretty badly. No arrests have been made. In 1896, he punched a train conductor after losing his place and his teammates had gone to bed. A conductor who intervened was called down by Mr. Ryan, who got him an uppercut before his longtime captain, and manager Cap Anson stopped the fun, wrote uh, Tim, Tim Mamain of the Boston Globe. Again, Ryan is 36 and runs scored, with him being seven among 19th century players, with whom the six ahead of him are reaching the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's why Ryan and a lot of people believe he's uh, well overdue for the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, Ryan died at the young age of Chicago at age 60. He was married twice and left no children. In the 2001 book, The New Bill James Historical Baseball Abstract, writer Bill James ranked Ryan as the 26th greatest center fielder of all time. He was eventually buried in an unmarked grave until 2022, until the help of the Sabre Grave Marker Project helped efforts to lend a proper uh, gravestone. So again, all the statistical uh, categories uh, were there, but a career center fielder of his talent probably be what, what he called a 35-100 30 stolen base uh, player in 2023. But what was interesting about Ryan, though, he uh, he never backed down from the challenge. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing, our vintage MLB podcast, let us know.